What's happening, everyone? I hope you are having an awesome day today. I am for the most part. I have an unboxing to do for you guys, and it's pretty a pretty exciting unboxing. Uh, I bought something, well, I was gifted something right before Christmas, and I love it to death. It was a way to store some of my most prized EDC gear and that filled up uh, rather quickly and uh, I felt like I needed something else. So I did order something else to kind of go along with it. Now this is a big box guys. So just bear with me here. We'll get right into it. <clears throat> and then it'll kind of all play out as the video goes on. At least I think it will. Uh, while I'm doing this, if you are here and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we have a 1K giveaway coming up. We have a 2K giveaway coming up shortly after that using the new EMP EDC Magna Cut Relative. Yes sir, number 002 baby. This thing is phenomenal guys. So, so good. Uh, he's having a drop, I think it's next weekend. And then he's also doing a pre-order as well. So, if you are interested in this knife, which you should be, because it's badass, I would highly recommend going and picking one up. So, let's see if we can get this out of here without knocking the camera over and knocking everything else over on the table. Looks like we were able to do it, maybe, so far. Okay, throw that down there. And I think this is the top here, or this is the top of the unit. So I will try and show you exactly what I'm talking about here momentarily. This is actually the second part of this display, this EDC display case. Now, this is the top, and what this is, is a big old nice drawer. So, this isn't, it's going to be hard to get in frame, guys. I wonder if I can bump you up just a little more. Bear with me, bear with me. I thought that might be enough, but... Okay. So there's at least a little better of a view. So it's big, guys. It's, uh... So we're like... 15 and a half inches by a foot deep. So this has a big old drawer, okay? This is from Coviso, and they are the ones who kind of took over for drop. And I have to say, I've ordered a couple times from Coviso, and their products are phenomenal. Now, I do think these are made in China, but that doesn't always mean it's not good. Uh, I've had my display case for several months now and it has held up very well. Uh, all the mechanisms work very well. Now I will have a more in-depth uh, overview of this guy, but here is how it will play out. This is the top and this will rest perfectly on top of this. There it goes. 
Now this part folds up, boom. Now my stuff's a mess. You see some stuff missing, yes, there. Uh, and there's a reason for that. That is the Sagaha Nimble and the Liner Lock, which I have right here in a throw tray behind me. Now what's gonna be happening is this guy is going to be taking my thick boy's spot. Boom. This guy will actually be going underneath with the Slender Man right here. Uh, somewhere. Probably over here. Beautiful. Got the old Maverick. Oh, love that guy. This guy found a spot in here as well. The Tuya NV4. Hard to beat this guy here, guys. Hard to beat. Uh, but this is under construction at this point. Uh, and which is why I needed that second tier. Uh, that big drawer is going to lend in me putting some more of my premium knives in here. Uh, my wooden tool chest or my wooden chest uh, that I've always used is still going to be used. But I would like to bring some more premium stuff into this kit as well or into this case. Uh, you can buy these individually. The top piece is a little bit more than the drawers by... I think like 30 bucks, but once you get this, the top part, and you fill this up, which might be a little while, or even if you fill it up right away, until you acquire enough stuff maybe that you would like to keep in here, just because you have, like me, I could have right away bought this bottom tier, but it wouldn't have been filled really with stuff I wanted to fill it with, but over time, you know, you acquire more and more and more stuff. And this is kind of just a tidbit of what I keep in here. Some flashlights, some of my good tactile pens, uh, a couple of my good lighters, a couple of my good pry bars, Christmas gift from my fiance, uh, my Raptor goes under here, my Jaeger. And you don't see those because I've been storing them on top of my dresser in this right here, which is an issuing stitches, basically a valet tray. Uh, there's my Raptor and my Leong Ma. So basically, most of these knives are going to be going in this bottom drawer or on the top. I've been just storing them like this until I figured out what I was going to do. And then I started thinking about it and I was like, oh man, they make a drawer for my case. I'll just get one of those because I didn't want to keep these. It's not that I don't want to keep these in my wooden tool chest. It's that there's no more room in there. So... Instead of trying to get something else like that, I was like, man, I'll just add another tier to this. And it doesn't add any more space. Uh, you know, it's a tower, basically. So wherever this was sitting, uh, it's not going to take up any more space. So that is nice in itself. And... I love the quality of this. It has held up extremely well. The material that this is made out of, the glass has held up very well. The innards of it are done very well as far as uh, the display units and whatnot. They, they're very well made, guys. So if you're looking for something that's a little more than like a, a pelican case or like that wood tool chest or anything like that. And you maybe want to keep it in your room or your man cave or whatever the hell. I would highly recommend looking at these top display cases. They're like a hundred bucks. Yeah. But you can fit a lot of gear 
in this top part. Uh, you know, seven knives here, plus another seven or eight knives underneath of it. Plus you could do even more if you didn't want to do the flashlights and pry bar thing. You could fit even more. You could probably fit 20 knives just in there. Then you have compartments for your little gizmos and gadgets. And uh, you'd have a room for, I'm just going to knock them over now because they're going to get knocked over anyway. So I'm going to sit that back down. So I paused you and I wanted to kind of move the camera back and show you how big this really is. Uh, it's nice and deep. So you could basically take, so if you didn't want these organizers, right? You could seriously stand knives up like this, which is how I have them in my wooden toolbox in a lot of the drawers. Because I have so many, I can't lay them flat. There's just not enough room. But say you got to the point where you had so many in here, you could literally just start standing them up. Now this is how I store them like this, clip to clip in my wooden tool chest there. It uh, gives you a lot more space in your, tool, your uh, wooden toolbox. I've recommended them to everyone who's looked for something to store their knives in and it's perfect to do that. Uh, if you say had under 50 knives, right? This right here, and say you wasn't gonna get more than 50, uh, this would be perfect. This setup right here would be perfect because you could store them like this. They'd be in a nice little spot. Uh, me, I love Pelican cases and the Apache cases but not for my knives. It's just, I don't know what it is. Uh, for me, I would need either two massive ones that would take up so much space, it's ridiculous, or I would need a ton of smaller ones, which would take up a ton of space. And why do that when I have a tool chest that has eight drawers in it, plus an opening, a top that opens up similar to this, and I can keep 150 to 200 knives in it at my access. You know, I can pull the drawers out or I can open the top up and they're all right there for me. I'm just not a huge fan of the Apache cases for my knives. I do have them, but they're not for knives. They're for projectile organization and, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, so I'm a big fan of like the toolbox or the wooden tool chest or something like this as far as storing my knives and my EDC gear and just something like this, you know, I got my nux, I got my fidgets, I got some small EDC gear here. Not that this is how it's going to stay. It'll be relatively staying like this, you know, cause there's only so much stuff you can put in these smaller cubbies. You could put three watches, but I said, eh, I'm not going to do that. Because uh, I have so much little EDC stuff like this, you know, that uh, it made sense to just start throwing them, you know, flashlights and little multi tools, little O light flashlights. But I'm going to do a little more in depth overview of this thing and how I get it set up and whatnot and when I'm done. I was going to do that in this video, but the video would be like 30 minutes long, which isn't, you know, out of the ordinary for me or my channel, but <clears throat> I've been trying to keep things a little shorter. Uh, but Caviso has these in stock and you can also get them on Amazon, which is how I got this bottom tier here. Uh, I did get this through the Caviso website, but Caviso sells through Amazon. So it's the same thing. Uh, pr you know, you're just getting, you're going to get it quicker. If I would have ordered this off of their website direct, I probably wouldn't get it for another day or two at least. Uh, I ordered this on Sunday, I think, and it got here today, Tuesday. 
So, you know, Amazon always has good turnaround time when it comes to stuff like that. But you can get these direct from Caviso. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, and they're well made. I remember when I first started seeing these, I wished I could get one, you know. And that was back in like October. And then finally I was... I asked my fiance to get me one for Christmas and she decided to get me one. It was right before Christmas for a Christmas present and I couldn't be happier uh, using this. It's, it's awesome. And you know, the ability to store even more knives underneath of your display here, it just, it's awesome. Uh, if anyone has any questions about it, uh, Go ahead and leave them down below. I'll try to help you out the best I can. Uh, if you have a bunch of knives and you're looking for ways to store them and this isn't your jam or, you know, it might this top part cost as much as my wooden tool chest did from Harbor Freight. And you can store five times the amount of knives in that wooden tool chest. Some of you have seen it before. Some of you just know what I'm talking about. Uh, but I highly, highly recommend that wooden tool chest for EDC gear and your knives. Uh, mine was originally for that, but my knives just overtook. You know, I used to keep this stuff in the top of it. And then eventually it got whittled down, whittled down to the point where I couldn't keep even a few pins in there. And now it's just completely full with knives standing, you know, straight up like this, guys. So that's when I say there's 150 or more knives in there. That's how I'm doing it is by standing them up like this. So if you have one of them wooden tool chests and you're looking to, to get more in there, I recommend, you know, standing them like this in the drawers that you can. The upper six drawers, you can't do that. But the bottom two and the very top, you can. And you can fit a lot of knives that way, guys, a ton. Uh, so if anybody has any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Hit me up on Instagram. I'll try to help you out as best I can. Um, otherwise, guys, Thank you for hanging out with me for a little while and checking out this case. I will try to remember to link this down below. I'm sure I will at some point remember, uh, but I'll leave a link below at least to Caviso's website. I might even already have a link to their website in the description anyway. I can't remember if I do. Uh, I think I actually do. But if I don't, I'll add it and I'll put this in there and then you can go check them out. I ended up getting this on sale so for like 20 bucks off. So I got a pretty good deal on it, uh, theoretically. I think they run like 120 and I got it for 100. Uh, so I don't know what they're at right now. The bottom was like 60, I think. So that's a hell of a deal in my opinion. Uh, so... That is the Caviso display case and bottom drawer. And I will be going over more in depth uh, how I set this up and whatnot here in the coming days. Otherwise, guys, love you all. Thank you for hanging out. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And if you're still here and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Love you, everyone. See ya.